Okay, this is a quick review of my cap barbell power rack exercise stand, model number FM-905Q. So this squat rack is rated to 500 pounds. It's made of 11 and 14 gauge steel. The 11 gauge steel are in these J hooks that come with it. You can see it's pretty thick steel. They're rated to 500 pounds. I've had 515 pounds racked on those J hooks and they held with no signs of uh, metal fatigue. I've got another video that I'll upload for this that shows uh, 515 pounds on the barbell with these J hooks, which are yes for all J hooks. I will do a review. They appear strong but are crappily built. Uh, as well as 50 pounds across the top. Uh, so a total of 575 pounds on the uprights. A couple modifications. So I drilled a hole on both uh, sides, both uprights at the top to put some weight tree or weight plate holders. These are 5 8 inch. So they slide in here and then uh, you can uh, stack weights on here because the only weight holder is uh, down there. You have a weight holder and then a bar holder. So I've got, you can see I've got some weights up here. So I put the lighter weights on top. Uh, the, the other thing I did, which I did actually last night, was drill a one inch hole uh, through these uprights here to put in these one inch yes for all uh, J hooks that are rated up to a thousand pounds per pair. Uh, this rack does not come with spotter arms, but you can buy them for about 35 bucks. So they just fit in here and they're rated to 500 pounds, but you can see it's pretty robust. I suspect they'll hold uh, quite a bit more than that. And then I also did the weight plate holder uh, on the bottom. Typically I have 345s and a 100 pound weight uh, just sitting there. So that's 235 pounds on each side plus the the 25s and change plates uh, up top. And sometimes just my barbell sitting on it or in the, in the plate holder. So this is cap barbell power rack exercise stand. Highly recommended, 130 bucks on Amazon. Um, one of the upgrades I did do to it is put this uh, 1 8 inch rubber on it. Uh, that protects the, or puts, coats the J hook so that it protects the knurling on your barbell so it doesn't get worn down. You can see these Yes For All ones have it uh, with it, though they didn't have it on the lip, so I used that same 1 8 inch rubber. Uh, and then I did the same thing on the spotter arms because it comes with this really crappy little thin rubber that doesn't do anything um, and gets chewed through, so I put that uh, 1 8 inch rubber and uh, it works great. Uh, I also put some magnets uh, on the back thank to, thanks to uh, Garage Gym Reviews Coop for suggesting that and I uh, use it to hang the chain that I use for my weighted dips and my old belt uh, that I also use for weighted dips. So highly recommend this rack, 130 bucks, spotter arms are 35 uh, and that's just for the basic loadout. Each of these weight plate holders is 25 bucks a pair uh, I think so you can get those at uh, on Amazon so 50 bucks for weight plate holders which can hold you know 600 pounds of weight almost and then uh, <clears throat> uh, these yes for all things were 25 bucks for the pair for these J hooks and then I got two drill bits a 5 8 and a 1 inch drill bit and those were about 15 bucks each just to drill new holes. Uh, this rack is sturdy. Uh, I don't think I'll have any concern with it probably for the rest of my <laughs> life because uh, I probably won't ever lift or squat at least more than or even 500 pounds. Uh, Pull-up bar is one and a, a quarter inch thick and uh, it's got a good grip to it and it holds me with uh, about 50 pounds of added weight, no problem. So highly, highly recommend this rack.